Hello everyone, this is Miguel Greenberg and today I'm going to show you a tool called Tmux. Um, in a previous video I showed you how I use Vim to edit uh, Python applications and I also mentioned that what I like about Vim is that it is uh, available and running pretty much everywhere. You, you can install it or it, it's already installed uh, in most servers. Uh, so one other tool that I uh, usually have on all the servers that I work on is Tmux. So I thought I might as well show you this one because in many cases I use a combination of Vim and Tmux. Uh, so, so what does Tmux do? Uh, this is a terminal multiplexer. When you have a terminal session like this one that you can see here, it allows you to uh, multiplex it and create uh, multiple sessions uh, all within the, the space of this window. So, uh, for example, uh, something very easy that I can do, and you, you may have seen me do this uh, in other videos and demos, uh, is to split this window into two. So I can say, Control A and then the pipe character and that splits the window vertically into two. I can do it again and now this one, uh, the session that was active is split again uh, into two. Uh, if I exit any of these windows then that portion is absorbed by the, the, closer, uh, the closest window. So if I exit this one then the previous one becomes uh, big again. Uh, if I do control A dash, then the split is horizontal. Uh, and basically you get the idea. So for example, uh, here I can start Vim and I have a session here. And then uh, with control A and the arrows, I can move within the different uh, panes that I have. So this is for splitting your window. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can uh, add more windows and that is done with control A and the letter C. So now down below here you can see that I have two windows. So this one is a single one and then I can go control A1 brings me back to my first window. Control, control A2 goes back to this one. Uh, I can use control A, control A to go between the last two and uh, basically I combine Vim with uh, Tmux and this is what allows me to for example have, uh, have my tests, my application running, um, maybe any logs that I'm interested in seeing. Uh, I have all of that uh, in a single window or in a, in a multi-window setup uh, when it makes sense. Uh, so. Uh, like Vim, Tmux is a tool that is heavily configurable. Uh, most of the things that I'm showing you here I configured in my own Tmux config file that you are uh, that you're welcome to have. Uh, you, you can find the link uh, below the video. Uh, for example, by default, Tmux uh, uses Control B as a first. Uh, as, as a first keystroke, so all the commands follow Control B. Uh, I prefer Control A uh, because I, I'm, I'm used uh, in, in the old days. Uh, the, a precursor of Tmux is called Screen. You may have heard of it. And Screen used Control A as a first keystroke. So I configure all my, uh, my commands starting with Control A. Uh, so you're welcome to take the config file. Uh, I, I put comments on it uh, explaining what every uh, little bit does uh, and then you can change it to your liking. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, this is basically, it, it, it's, a, it's a simple thing but it's extremely powerful. Uh, and, and that reminds me, there, there's one very important thing that I forgot to mention. Uh, so let's say this is a, a remote server and so, so you you SSH into it, you create 
this uh, this window with three panes and this other window with a single pane. So so we have all this, and then uh, let's say you lose the internet, so your connection with the server breaks. So you basically, you you will be brought back to your own command prompt, which will look more or less like this. So you you've lost your your terminals. The uh, the great thing about Tmux is that uh, Tmux still runs on the machine. It's not uh, it's not directly connected to to your session, so it's running in the server even if you lose your your connection to it. So when you are back in your server, you can reconnect. So for example, here I can say Tmux ls, and it will show it, it'll show me all the sessions that I have running on this machine. And I have only one, uh, so it's called zero, and it has two windows. So what I can do now is I, I can say tmux attach, and then give it the the zero session that I want to attach to. Of course, you can have multiple ones. So instead of doing this, I can say tmux new, and this will start a brand new session, leaving this one alone. But Let's now attach back to zero. And here's everything. Vim was running here and it's still running. I have these two. And then this uh, this other one is also preserved exactly how I left them. So if you uh, if, if you get used to running Tmux uh, in all your remote shells when you connect to a remote machine, then you're sure that you are never going to lose your terminal session. Uh, so, if you want to install this, uh, it's actually very simple. There is a um, tmux.conf file, and this is the uh, the configuration that uh, that achieves all this. Uh, so basically, take take this config file, uh, install tmux, drop the config file. Uh, it's actually .tmux.conf. Uh, so put it in your home directory. And the next time you run Tmux, you will run Tmux new, and that will start a new session. And that's it. So I hope this is useful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. But, um, you know, pretty simple. So I hope you like it. Thanks. Bye-bye.